Safe to say authorities in Tipton County are not sugarcoating it. Gang activity and gang-related crimes are on the rise. Yeah, so this morning, everyone from ATA to ATF agents to sheriff's deputies, well, they joined forces during Operation Crime Driver, the largest such sting in county history. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders followed along and recaps the operation and the results. We need to be proactive instead of reactive. No holds barred and no apologies. And we're going to go after bad guys and charge them and prosecute them. Okay. Sorry for waking you up, man. Across Tipton County this morning, more than 120 law enforcement members rolled out and tracked down those on a list of 180 suspects during Operation Crime Driver. If crime is committed, it's not followed by fear and punishment, what do we have? The sting included both warrant checks for recent offenders and more serious repeat offenders wanted for gun and drug violations. What I'm hoping for is uh, this is a deterrent. In all, the crackdown resulted in 16 arrests, 26 charges, and several weapons seized. That included the semi-automatic rifle in Atoka and likely federal charges for 45-year-old Maurice Nash. Today, we removed a couple of the trigger pullers off the street. We removed uh, firearms that have illegally been on the street. While Operation Crime Driver may be over, prosecutors still sent this message to other wanted Tipton County criminals. Make no mistake about it. We know who you are. You can't hide here in Tipton County. The federal law still applies, and we will hold you accountable. Tipton County law enforcement said similar operations and bulked up gang intelligence will be rolled out in the months ahead. The sheriff's office here estimates Tipton County currently has more than 1,800 active gang